This week, we've joined Coast Guardsmen as they train to become boarding officers. Today, a judge summons them to a courtroom. Plus, we'll look at how an advanced course is helping increase awareness of radiological threats at our port. Coast Guard Petty Officer Adam Eggers reports. As the students complete their boardings and begin their boarding officer evaluations, one unique and vital training simulation happens here in the courtroom. Picture of the narcotics that you found on board. The Academy's mission to keep training as realistic as possible for the students continues on long after the boarding. We're here right now inside an actual U.S. District Courthouse where students are learning on how to give testimony to back up what they found during a boarding. At this portion of our training, the students get an actual hands-on experience for defending a case of a boarding that they actually conducted. Approximately two weeks ago, the students were out on the, on the boarding platforms conducting a real-time boarding. Were you the uh, boarding officer? I was. They are actually defending a case that they have a vested interest in that they themselves made. This is the culmination of the law portion of the training. It's very important that these students get an understanding that their job isn't done when they hop back over the gunnel and leave the vessel. After the students have gone a few intense rounds in the witness chair, their course is all but complete. But the training that is involved with being on a boarding team doesn't stop after the boarding officer and boarding team member courses. The Coast Guard wants to detect radiological sources offshore, away from the coast, where they're not a threat. The Coast Guard's Homeland Security mission revolves around protecting the nation's shores and ports. One of the biggest threats is radioactive materials and weapons being smuggled into the country on board ships. In the face of these threats, the Academy offers a radiation detection level two course. The main difference between shipboard detection and shoreside detection is that uh, the natural radiation, uh, what we call background radiation, that's everywhere, it's natural you know, from the earth, is much, much lower at sea. And that's kind of a double-edged sword uh, because the good side is that it makes even a low-level radiological source on a ship stand out like a candle in a dark room. To be able to detect radiation, boarding teams must learn the basics of radiological physics, knowledge which is vital to their success. How gamma radiation works, how neutron radiation works, uh, the different types of radiation, how it affects the human body, how uh, penetrating it is, how easy or difficult it is to shield, which ties right into the mission of detecting it. The harder to shield, the easier to detect. We'll place radiological sources, low level of course, uh, in different places on board the boats. The students will give, be given a scenario brief, then they'll board the vessel and make their plan, they execute it. As these boarding officers and boarding team members graduate from the academy, they have faced a wide range of realistic training that will prepare them for the real world mission of keeping mariners, their teams, and the nation safe. Coast Guard Petty Officer Adam Eggers, Pentagon Channel News. If you missed any part of our series, you can watch them on demand at Pentagon